Hi everyone, I can't wait to do this video because today we are going to be playing with a lot of makeup products that starts with the letter B. So basically this is a continuation from the collab that I did with Amy. I will link that up in the corner right there if you want to go check that out. But basically what I've done is I have kind of taken a look in my collection and I found all of the makeup products that has a name that starts with B. So that's what I'm going to be using today. So I'm only going to be using single shadows because I want to get more use out of my single shadows. So I've made like my little B palette here, which I find it so interesting that the color stories that end up with like one letter tends to be like the same kind of color. So here we basically have like purples and blues and pinks and I'm like, that doesn't really make any sense to me with B, just like with A, I had a bunch of like blues and greens, so I'm like, it's so weird, I, I just don't get it. But anyway, I need to bronze because I look so pale right now. And the thing is, I don't have a bronzer that starts with B or like the name of the bronzer. I don't have a bronzer that's named something with B, but I mean, a bronzer starts with B, so bronzer, I'm just gonna use a bronzer. So I'm gonna use my cover effects uh, monochromatic Duo monochromatic, what, what are these called? They're called the monochromatic bronzer duo. This is in the shade Sunkissed Bronze. So I'm basically gonna use both of these. I'm gonna first go in with the matte and then I'm going to top it with the shimmer. And I even looked in my eyeshadow palettes to see if I had any shades that could be used as a bronzer, but I simply just, I don't have anything that starts with B that would look good on my face. And since I am going to wear this the rest of the day, I wanted to at least look, you know, decent. So I'm just gonna use what I have here. And I feel like with my bronzer, Sponsor. For most of the letters, I'm not going to have anything that starts with B because I just don't have a lot of bronzers. So I'm just gonna let this slide, you know, if you feel like that's okay. I hope that's all right because like I said, I just simply don't have a lot of bronzers. Now for blush on the other hand, I actually have a lot of blushes that starts with the letter B, but the blush that I want to use today is one that I got sent by Oxaly and this got sent to me from Lancome. So I am so excited about these because these are the blush Subteal, I think you call these. I am not really sure, but I am so grateful. Honestly, I got sent five of these, which is just mind blowing to me. And I have them all here. One of these do start with the letter B, but let me just tell you about these blushes because they are so beautiful. I saw Hannah Louise Poston talk about these in one of her videos, and she was talking about the Rose Liberté, I think it was called. Let me see if I can find that one so I can show you that one because that's the one that she really liked. So it is this one. This is such a beautiful blush color, and what I really like about these blushes is that they are so buildable, but they go on very subtly, so you can really build and build and build, and they also just, I don't know, the pigmentation on them is just perfect. They are so easy to work with. They're also like a satin finish, so you're not going to look super matte, but it's also not like a shiny finish, so it's just absolutely beautiful. And the one that I'm going to use today is number 356. This is called Blush For You, and this is a very cool toned pink. So you can see in the pan, it looks very intimidating, but when I go in and put this on, like you'll see just how well this applies because it is absolutely stunning. Like, let me tell you, I've been using these so much lately. So you can see I'm dipping in like pretty hard and heavy handed with this and you can see it very subtly on my skin. Whereas in the pan, it looks very intense, but it's really not that intense and it just builds so beautifully. I love the finish of them. I love how they feel on my skin, which is a weird thing to say, but I just, I'm so in love with this blush formula, you guys. I just think it's amazing. So this is probably one of my favorite items that I've ever received through Octoly. And I'm just so thankful for that service because it really allows me to review things that I normally wouldn't have bought because they're usually, I tend to request things that are more on the expensive side, let's be real, because you know, those are things that I feel like is not out of my budget, but it's just something that I don't like risking spending the money on, if that makes sense, because I don't know if I'm going to like it. Whereas something, uh, you know, more affordable, I don't mind taking the chance of something not being as good. So I'm just so thankful for Octoly and for them having a service like that for us influencers. I just think it's so cool to be able to have the chance to review these kind of products and honestly I just am so in love with these like I think these might even have taken my cover effects duo spot uh, for blushes because I can't stop using these I mean they're honestly just incredible 
So for my highlighter, I did not have a lot of options, but I do have the Blossom Glow from Wet n Wild. And this is also a pink, or I guess it's like a peachy pink, but I feel like this is going to go really well with the rest of my face makeup anyway, so that's nice. And I also think that the color story that I got in my eyeshadows is going to work really well with everything. Like, I don't know, it just seems like it's going to be a very cohesive look. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this on, and this is actually really nice highlighter, so not mad at all that I had to use this. I didn't have to use this, but you know what I mean. Like, I didn't have a lot of options to start with B. Oh, and also if you're wondering about this brush, I actually got this sent from Kaleidos Makeup. They sent me their new brush set, and this highlighting brush is really, really nice. It reminds me a lot of the Sigma F03, but it's a little bit bigger just like a tiny bit, and I don't mind that. I think this just applies highlighter really, really nicely. All right, it is time for eyeshadows, which is always the most fun part. So I'm going to prime my eyes with my Natasha Denona eyeshadow primer, and then we're going to get into this. I don't know what exactly I want to do today, but I feel like I have a lot of options. I do kind of want to use this Menagerie shadow because I really like this, but I also really like this Glaminatrix one up here. So I'm going to have to decide if I want to go kind of more like dark purpley or more on like the blue side. But let me go ahead and prime my eyes first and think about this for a little bit. And then I will let you know what I've decided on. Maybe I won't even decide before we start. Who knows? We'll find out. So I think I've decided on doing kind of more of a purpley look. So I'm first going to start off by taking this Glaminatrix shade. This is in Burlesque. So I'm going to start by taking that in my outer corner as well as I think through my crease as well. And I'm going to take this on a bit of a small brush here because I do want to be a little bit precise with this application. So I'm first just starting by packing it in the outer corner of my eye like I said here. And I also have some liquid glitters that I might pull in for this that also start with the letter B. I have gone through my whole collection, you guys. Every time I do these videos, or I mean, this is the second time I've done it, but I really enjoy just like sitting down on the floor and just looking at all my drawers and my palettes and just finding things that I can use that I know I haven't used in a while. Like that is just so fun to me. And this is such a great way to be able to kind of force myself to use some of the things that I know I have in my collection that I just, I never really have a reason to pull out otherwise because they don't fit into like the videos that I'm doing, if that makes sense. So I'm really just packing this into my crease now because I do want this to be quite an intense look. I mean, do I ever not? I feel like I've never said, I want this to be a soft look. Like that just doesn't happen, you know? I think I've had maybe like four times on my channel where I'm like, I'm gonna do a soft look today. And then it's actually ended up being a soft look, you know? Because most of the time I'm just like, give me all the pigment and all the color at all times because it's just more fun that way. So I'm thinking I want to do something blue possibly on my lower lash shine. So I think I'm going to use this one from Colourpop. This one is called Backstage. And I don't think I've used this shadow before. So I'm kind of excited about that because I got this knowing that this was the kind of shadow that was lacking in my singles collection. So I'm excited to be able to give this a good chance here. So I'm going to basically connect that to the outer corner and I'm going to smudge that all underneath my eye here. I think I'm just going to go ahead and take this all the way in here. I might layer something on top, just on the inner part of my lower lash line. But for now, I'm just going to really smudge this out and build this up. And I'm of course going to take something else and blend out that purple with. I just have not yet decided what I want to use, which is why it's looking a little bit crazy right now. And I am so impressed by that blue. I mean, that just went on my eyes literally as perfect as I could. I mean, that is so nice and intense. It's sticking to my eye really nicely. It blended out really nicely. It built up very nicely. Go ColourPop. I really like ColourPop shadows. I think they do such a good job for being so affordable. So I think what I'm going to do to blend this out with is I'm going to take this one from... Where are you from? You are from... I'm guessing Give Me Glow Cosmetics, but it doesn't say their uh, brand on the back here, but this is Bubblegum. So I'm going to use that in my crease to blend out the purple that I first put down. And I will, of course, have all of these shadows linked down below in my description box if you want to go check out any of them. And I like how this is almost like a palette bingo, but just with more options and I don't need to use all of the shades. It's almost like someone just gave me like a super random eyeshadow palette and told me to do a look with it. Like, I just, I love the concept of this so much. And like I said before, it's such a good way for me to kind of 
look into my collection and pick out things that I normally would not have picked out to use together. And I am gonna go back in with that purple after I put down the pink, but I wanted to make sure that I could put down the pink and have it really have its time in the spotlight here and make sure that it is showing up nice and vibrant. All right, I'm gonna go back into burlesque and I'm going to just make sure that this is as deep as I want it to be and that everything is kind of blended together here. And I don't know exactly which kind of colors I'm planning to use on my lid, but I feel like I have a lot of options in here. So I didn't really think that I had to, you know, plan everything in advance because I do have so many colors that look really nice together. And these are just blending like a dream. I am really liking where this is going. I think for my lower lash line, I'm also going to take a bit of this uh, MBA cosmetic shadow. This is in the color blue Cara Cara Cara. Wait, what are you called? Car Caro Wow, this is such a hard one to say. Caroucho? Caroucho? I've never heard that in my life. <laughs> I'm gonna take a little bit of this and just put that on the inner part of my lower lash line. And I think I have used this blue before and it's absolutely stunning. It's definitely more of like a satin shade though, so it's not the kind of shadow that I want to use on my lid because I just don't find it to be impactful enough for my liking, but I do like it for my lower lash line. And I'm thinking for my lid hair, maybe I want to go with a bit of an unusual color combination. So I think I'm going to first go into this dark kind of shimmery purple on the outer portion of my lid. And then I'll use this one from, I think this is from JD Glow. It's one of their galaxy shadows. This one is called Bora Bora. This is absolutely stunning. You'll see once I put it on my eyes, it's just everything. So like I said, I'm first gonna use this uh, blue, wait, blue, no, it's not blue, it's purple. This purple shimmer here, it's uh, called Brenda Joe. This is from Cosmic Turtle. I'm going to give that a quick spritz here. And then I'm gonna start by placing it in the middle of my lid and then pulling it outwards. This is one of those kind of shadows that just really blends nicely into mattes here. Like, I feel like there were just so many things that I could have done with all of these colors that I have in this palette. And I feel like I'm not using enough of them, even though I've probably used like four so far and I plan on using another two maybe. But like, I don't know, there are just so many beautiful colors in this little bundle that I feel like I'm not doing them any justice. And now for the last shadow, I think I'm gonna use this, but I also really want to use this one. Oh, that is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Which one do I want to use? Oh, they're so pretty, both of them. Oh, I need help, you guys. What do I use? <laughs> I think this is just going to make it look a little bit more cohesive, so I think this is what I'm gonna go with, but oh my goodness, they're both so beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna use Bora Bora just because I haven't actually used that one on my eyes yet, I don't think. So let's go ahead and see what this one ends up looking like. I'm gonna place that on the inner portion of my lid here and that was a very good decision. Oh my god, that is so pretty. And I'm going to layer that quite far over that purple just to make sure that I do get a really nice gradient here. And this is such a beautiful kind of topper shade too because it's going to sort of transform whatever is underneath because it is kind of sheer when you don't spray it. But when you do spray it, it really does get really nice and opaque. But you can see how this is really turning that purple kind of into a bit of a blue. Oh wow, I absolutely love this. I think this is looking so good. I do want to put something else in my inner corner though, but I don't know if I have anything. I wonder if maybe I can... So clearly my camera shut off and I don't know when, but I was saying I wish there was something I could use in my inner corner. And I'm thinking maybe I could use one of my liquid shadows. I do have a gold here as well as a silver, but these are kind of like shimmers. They're not glitter, so I don't really know what I want to do. But let me go ahead and finish off this eye and then I'll see what I have. I'm pretty sure I'll have a pretty good eyeliner to go with this. I hope so. Maybe I should have looked that up in advance. Mm. Okay, so I just went through my entire eyeliner collection and I should have planned this out a little bit better, but I do have three eyeliners here that I can use and I have a pink one, which is Piggy Bank from, Col wait, no, this is Boots from ColourPop. Obviously it starts with B, so it's Boots. And then I also have one of the NYX Faux Blacks. This is in the shade Blackberry. This is probably what I'm gonna end up using because it's kind of like a dark purple. And I also have Best O, which is almost like a dark 
brownie burgundy but i think i'm gonna go with the faux black by nyx which was in the shade blackberry so i'm gonna pop this in my waterline i don't think i have anything i can use in my inner corner i'm gonna take another look and then i'll show you the final look when i come back and tell you if i used anything else and i will also put on some lipstick and i will show you what i used so let me go do all that and i'll be right back so this is the finished look. I think this turned out so good. I am honestly so happy with this. And I also had a new lipstick that started with B. This is Bikini Bottoms by Colourpop. This is a collab that Sophia Niegaard did with Colourpop and I love this. I just think all of this kind of worked out so much better than the A1s did. The A1s came together in the end but I didn't really have a lip product that I felt was good enough for what I wanted in that. But here I feel like the whole look kind of came together and that makes me so happy. So. I can't wait to wear this the rest of the day. Let me know what you think of this look. Let me know if you're excited for the letter C because I know I am because when I've gone through my collection, I've seen so many things that started with the letter C. So can't wait to see what I can come up with that one. Uh, if you have a channel, I would love it if you would do something similar to this because I think that this would be so fun for other people to do and for me to watch. So not being greedy or anything, but like if you have a channel, you want to do this, please do. <laughs> so that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see the first one that I did and something else that I have on on my channel. I'll pop those up on my screen and if you are new to my channel I would love it if you would consider subscribing and I will see you in my next one. Bye!